Hi there. Here at Awesome Chocolates, I have a big problem. Some of our customers have chosen to mail physical order forms instead of emailing them to us. So here I've got a typical order form and quite a few of them there. And I just need to be able to get this data into Excel so that I can do what I do best, which is look at my orders, understand and maybe process them. So if you have like this kind of physical thing that are printed out or emailed to you or faxed to you and you just need to get this data into Excel, then I'm going to share two different techniques. Uh, one of them is really simple and it, it is already in your pocket. I'm talking about your phone. And the other one is to use a professional grade scanner. So I'll show you both approaches uh, and you know, this is going to be interesting. To start off, all you want to do is take one of the order forms and then uh, you also need to install the free office app on your phone. So I'm using an Android phone. So I have got a office app on this. So let me just quickly open that up. So once you have the office app, when you open it, you will have a plus button. There is a scan option there, but I'm just going to go into the Excel directly. And then when you click on Excel, there is a scan table option. So this is really what I want. I want to scan a table of data directly into Excel. So I'll scan this and again, it will open up the scanner uh, thingy here. And I'm just going to take a picture. This will identify a rectangular area for best results. You may want to do this on in a well lit room with, with the flat surface uh, so that, you know, there is no disruptions and we'll continue this. So this is going to extract the table. And as you can see, it has done a fairly good job here of extracting the data. I don't know why certain things are in a different color, but it looks good to me. So, um, oh, these pink colors are the ones that needed review. I think that's good. That's good. So wherever there is a, a review required, it's going to tell you that you may have to kind of adjust these things, but everything looks all right to me. Mm, yeah, here there is a problem. As you can see, uh, smoothie, smooth silky salt. It has added some extra characters at the end. This is because uh, on my printout here, uh, I have some ink blots and maybe something else uh, there. So I'm going to open this, um, open anyway, and that's uh, just going to open uh, the, the data for me here in Excel. And then I can just continue this by adding more scan tables, just have to do the process for all my documents and the data is in Excel. So I can then go and do other stuff like bring this data into Power Query or just use inside Excel to process my order or whatever. So that's the technique number one. For the second technique, what we need is instead of this approach, because this is good for a simple data file like this, but if you have got um, uh, like 50 order forms, then this is going to be painful to do uh, like this. So for that, you need a scanner. Ta-da! Here is the scanner. Uh, this is being sent by the Sur Scanning Company. I hope I'm pronouncing their name right. And we can use a scanner that has built-in optical character recognition or OCR facilities to be able to scan the document. Let me unpack this and then you know, I'll show you how we can use something like this to uh, get the order forms into Excel. So this is the source scanner and I'm going to set this up in my office room so that I can show you how we could scan some of the documents and get the data into Excel. All right, so here I have set up the scanner and now I'm going to just scan this. Let's see how this works. So I got my order form here. I'm just going to place this right there and click on the scan button here. This is not just going to scan that document. That's done. So I'm just going to try the next one. All right. So it looks like both of these documents are so scanned. That was really quick. Let's see if it can actually get this data into Excel.
to get these files into excel i need to select these two and and then use the excel button uh, this is the first time i'm using this software so i could be doing this wrong or right i have no idea and i'm just gonna click on this thing so identifying language it's english and i'm gonna just pick excel as the file format and and then confirm notice that i'm not really doing anything all i'm doing is just letting it do its thing so my order forms and it is processing Ooh, that's done i'm gonna open this so all the data has come through it's kind of impressive so this is the order form as you could see um, there was some ink spots on the order form when when the one that i have here and those were all kind of coming up as some special characters here like product and then two arrows but most of it has been pretty good like the number parts are very good 198 67 78 51 131 37 uh, not really sure how it got like an apostrophe or something there but that's pretty good so all all we have to do is select this and force them to be numbers and we are in the business so in fact i think they are numbers somehow it decided to um, align them to the left but uh, once that is done then it is all there and i could probably use something like a power query to quickly just take all of this and consolidate into one big data set so there you go two different techniques for combining data when you have printed forms or mailed forms and you just need to scan them if you would like to get a professional quality scanner then do check out the tour website using the link that is in the video description big thanks to them for sending a review copy of the scanner and uh, it was really fun using it i plan to use it in some other situations uh, in my personal life as well as in my business and if you would like to learn how to connect to a pdf and get the data that means you're not having physical forms but you have a document and you just want to extract the table data from that uh, then check out uh, this video that is shown on the screen here thank you bye